Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Game Guy. Anyway, I'm back to the next part of Let's Play Sky Fabrication 2, the Minecraft Skyblock uh, uh, mod pack. We were doing a Let's Play on my channel. This is part 5 or 6. And for the title of the last of this video, we're going to be building a smelter and doing a few other things. Um, last last video was about do, going to the nether, getting quartz a little bit. Um, so basically, show, showcasing how to get quartz in the nether. Uh, apparently you can. I forgot you could actually find, you can find a fortress. Actually, it is a quest in the book here. Um, I didn't realize that. Um, I thought I found one though because of that better net end. Or, sorry, better nether fortress. But I guess it's a different thing. Um, but yeah, the, the last video was about duplicating ores, which is using the cracked hammer, and, which I have put away, and the ore chunks you get from this thing. Um, and that's how you duplicate your iron and your copper. And then, yeah, that's basically what that was. In this video, as like I said before, we're going to be building the smeltery because I also have the materials to do it now. Um, so let's get into it. I thought I built it though. Do I have? Oops. Um, uh, okay. For some reason, I thought I had it. So I need to forge. And, and polish black stone. So let's forge or oh okay. Uh huh. I, I will come on. I assume Oh, I don't have the materials to build it. I have the iron. Not that. Okay. Okay, polished. It's just blackstone. Okay. How many blackstones on? Oh, just a stack. Three by three. I probably need more than... Uh, but as well that's cooking, I did complete some quests here, as you can see. So I did, um, four quests, five in Stone Age, one in Bronze, and one in Storage. So let's go from top to bottom. Uh, I did the, uh, conveyor belts. Did the wireless trans, trans wireless threats and stuff. I am still trying to figure out. How to get Curse Earth, because um, I just unlocked that, uh, which will improve the mob farm basically. Made the Redstone Timer. Now, obviously, I believe if we, are, if we were playing on Hardcore, I would obviously be getting uh, the Hardcore books, I believe. Not books, um, uh, the uh, right click little like, bags you get for it. Um, I get random items. I, got, I was able to get the. Um, Flame boots. How I got the slime is I actually just found out you can use it through original tools where you, if you just, um, graves or, uh, main miner sandstone with your hand pick, uh, this hand pick from resource tools, you get, that's how you get the saltpeter that's from resource tools, which is used in the recipe of any slime. So it's salt, peter, resource tools, uh, green, green dye, and then honeycomb stuff. And obviously I'm going to pick the gold because we need gold. Um, what else? We still need to go to find a fortress for that. I think that's... No, we have one more in here. Okay. Uh, um, hold on. Do, 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 do. Oh, there it is. Chisel. We Yes, I just made a uh, chisel because I realized that, hey, I can make it. I have the materials necessary. Let that cook. Get a that going. It says a three by three, so I'm guessing it's like this. Like that. Right, um 
Ups. Three by three by three, so three by three by three. There we go. Yep, three by three by three. And this is how you get bronze and stuff. And electro, apparently. So, I did that quest. There's a few others I think it did as well. Uh, uh, these just mean they, they, they unlocked one quest elsewhere, means that that uh, another chain of quest. Finally, you're able to mix ingots, you will get a lot of bronze the next age. It's Alright, bronze and electron. Smell the yellow logic electron requires it required it's required for the gold funnel use silver and gold found in the nether. Ha Do I even have silver? I have twenty five silver. Uh which is that which you get from the uh iron funnel, so it's fine. It says it's fine than the found in the nether, but I don't know how you're supposed to find it when there's no land. Uh, there is one quest here. Okay. Um, ah. Got eight more silver. And age of storage. Just a bunch of storage stuff. Turn. Oh. I don't actually need these. Or those. Or that. Or that. Tip of that. Keep that moving for now. Never mind. Don't need that. Redstone. Alright. And more iron. That was good. That was good to get stuff like that. Uh oh, one well, last one. Alrighty. That away, that away, but that away, that away. I don't know how to best mine this. Alright, I'm gonna pause here, figure out what I wanna do, and be right back in a sec. Alright, I'm back guys, and I made the smelter, yeah, and I'm smelting stuff here. Also, you need to use a normal bucket to, um, to put lava in it, and this lava goes fast actually, so I'm making a bunch of lava and stuff. Also, uh, the, the nether... Sorry, uh, the nether, the gold... The gold you got beforehand um, from one of these quests, I forget which one it was, the, this one-ish, this one, uh, this, another gold ore, put, make sure you put it through this because you get three times as many gold, so the best way to duplicate your gold here is, as you can see, two of those makes three, or any of these, including the other it gives you two, it says it gives you two, but I can't, I got three for it, so I think that's a bug. And it gives you three, so. But yeah, uh, I'm going to. There, well, I guess we just do it on camera. You lock electron. Have that. And what's your gold? Nope. I don't think I have enough gold, though. And. Alright, let's see if I have enough gold for this, so. Uh, I need one. Ah, that, I have that, I have that. I just need the gold, damn. And that's all just to get the funnel. That will give you small amounts of gold. I don't know how else to get gold, game. And the gold does that. Hmm. So much more gold. Uh, 
All right, let me pause it here again. Figure out what I'm gonna do with this gold situation, and be right back, guys. In a sec. All right, guys, I'm back, and I decided that I'm going to head in the Nether actually, um, and try to find a fortress. And that, I mean, that's the only thing I can do is hope to find a fortress and get gold that way. So yeah, I'll be back in a second here. All right, guys, I'm back, and I two things I learned that apparently while you're flying this through the sky like down because i was actually fell start falling you can actually use the the slime thing to actually just bounce fling yourself up, up even if you're falling through the sky with no blocks under you i didn't know that and two i found this bastion oh damn on my way here and as you can see i thought i ended up putting gold i don't know, actually i don't actually know what this is called that's just called the bastion um which I don't even know if it tells me what it's called, but I figured I'd do an update with you guys and, you know, just show off it. But, yeah, I'm gonna go collect the gold, gold and be right back, guys, in a sec. Alright, I'm back. And no, you can't use this to fling yourself in mid-sky, actually. Okay. I'm gonna die. Uh, I... It's actually... The nether works like the, like the actual um, overworld here, world, where if you fall in the void, it'll just teleport back above. So, nothing to really worry about. Um, put some stuff away here. So, anyways, I have all the gold I need. And put some stuff away. There we go. Okay. Let me take a funnel. Uh, I have. Another pearl. So I have, I have, please tell me I have blaze. No, but I do have these, which provides me with the blaze powder, which I forget where you get those from. Ah, oh, from those dog things. So that gold funnel. Now I don't know if this will provide me with also the other stuff or just the newer stuff, so I may want to get. So I'll sit here and see if what this gives me, and I'll be right back in a sec. All right, I'm back, and yes, it does give you the old uh, um, ores like the silver, the iron, the copper. It also gives you nickel and lapis, and it said possibly gold. So, so. I don't have to worry about any of that, actually, which is good. Um, at the moment, though, I'm trying to figure out the whole... I didn't mean that. Sorry, at the moment, I'm just trying to figure out what to do next. Oh, whatever. And apparently gives you clay. Okay. So. Oops. I don't know if I've ever done anything. Really? No. So, I'm gonna pause here again. I'm gonna redesign this and be right back you guys in a few. I got some back and I did some small side quest. Um, side quest. Some small quest. Off camera here. I'm just trying to get uh, like stuff going and such. This is a lot. Any more tin is a problem. Because one of the main quests, oh, it says it wants me to get bronze and stuff, which is tin and copper, and so and I'm having a hard time getting tin from this thing. There, that one. But I did, some, I did do some quests. Mainly because this one will unlock the, uh, I need 26 for bronze and unlock the next tier of the book here. But I did do the uh, copper tools, copper armor, um, lapis. Weird number of nickel. Uh, there we go. Quartz. I guess there's quartz tools. 
And I think that's all the no one more quest apparently. All right. Yeah, it's gonna take me a second to find it. I think. No. Oh, the funnel, obviously. Obviously, I'm gonna get the bronze. All right, same stuff. Good. Because I'm missing. Sixteen bronze, and I need sixty-four. And the only way to get bronze is via the allies, uh, the alloy forgery, which is one tin and three copper, which could be four. But even though the funnel here gives you tin. It still doesn't give you a lot of tin. So, uh, I'm sorry to do this, but I'm going to pause it again and be right back in a sec. Alright guys, I'm back, and as you can see here, I did end up finding a nether fortress. I ended up, where is it? I ended up going this way, found a bastion, second bastion, and then there's another broken portal, and then I kept going. Um, and since I knew that falling in the nether here doesn't actually kill you, it just take some hearts down and just and then respawn you above 256 or whatever it is uh i just did that just fell through and then don't know what that is um but yeah i ended up finding another fortress here i explored it i got some stuff got a couple times um, the main thing i was going for is the cursed drop links for because i had to google how to get these and actually get them from from Wither skeletons are like the skulls. You, you the, the wither skeletons will drop them over time. Um, yeah, this is kind of like the loot I got from it. Some diamonds, these weird eye, nether eyes things. It was lost by a demon in the battle between the Aether and the Nether. That sounds cool. That would be um, some other stuff. Gold, some magma, some flower plant things. But yeah. hiding here um i'm also i want to also get a waypoint going nether fortress oh there you go oh, what was that? Yeah, it was my quest It a quest in like, oh maybe it is in this one. Whatever. Let's. And these are basically just to help mob spawn in a mob farm. Yeah, I just want to show off that I found another fortress here. I'm going to pause it here and be right back in a second. All right, I'm back and just decided since I got what I wanted, I'm just gonna get out of here. But first, I figured I'll see if these nether eyes do anything, so I want to use one because I'm assuming they're gonna do something like normal nether eyes. Yeah. Okay. That's a lot of skeletons. This is kind of like an open area, let's see. Oh, that's going in the void. I assume it's just points you to something. I'm assuming to another fortress. 
Here's my gas. Oh. I did want to see what was over here, though. I did see... Okay. So, yeah, I think it's just pointing to basically this no other part of another fortress. Or to a better end, maybe. So... Which I think is what the other, uh, the, um, thing was doing there. So I think this is another new fortress, basically. Ow. Let me get out of there. Nah. I'm gonna probably die here. Oh, come on. Yep. Yep. That's fine. Alright, I'll be right back in a sec. Alright guys, I'm back, and I'm trying to use the cursed droplings to plant them. Uh, I even looked at the on the mod pack, like, web curse website here, and it shows an image, or like a little gift video thing, and it shows the guy just placing it down. Um, he isn't creative, so I'm going to try and go into creative here. Um, let me do this. No, it's it's just not working. That's weird. Uh, I'm guessing is maybe because I don't have enough, and it's being weird. It's it says uh, well, it says cursed earth is some grass I block. It doesn't actually. It talks about the dirt, not the actual seeds or anything. Okay, they're good about using to create the cursed dirt. Are created by using cursed seeds. In a regular grass block or dirt block, and can only spread 16 from the center. So again, basically, it's stating to just click the cursed droplings. Oh, cur oh, cursed seeds. Oh, oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I need four of these. And then we get them is by getting doing the thingy. Okay. What the fuck killing you? <laughs> what? I read that. Has a one in four <laughs> killing you. Uh, that's funny. Alright, all right, so now that I know, I'm gonna have to go back there and kill more for their skeletons. Well, I'll be back in a sec. Alrighty, I am back and I got the bronze here. 32. I did a few quests, uh, kind of. So we, I didn't realize we also unlocked a part, the second half of the, this quest, which is to get the salt, uh, soul sand, magma, nether wart, uh, mushroom, and that's why this, this thing is here. Um, got the glowstone and the blaze rod, magma cream, and I got the other stuff, so. But the nether wart's gonna be fine because I planted some over here. Um, the salt and soul sand is gonna be a little tricky. Well, not tricky, just just a little annoying. Cause I mean, I have to go back to the Nether and grab them because I don't have any. So, and I just did some other quest uh, off camera here. I had to remake the bookshelves for that quest because it didn't count. Also, I found out that you can actually. Uh, Make bookshelves by just taking either making it like that, which it gives you different different versions of it, the different color types. So you just take whatever color type and put it in this, and it'll just give you vanilla bookshelf. And that's how you complete this quest. Uh, did so yeah, the, did those two quests. Still need to complete that one. Uh, completed this one. It was missing the hook knife. So there's that. Um. Not much else I did off camera, to be honest. Uh, this is the bronze age that has the. Uh, stuff. I do kind of wish these quests would give you, give you, like, extra of what you already have. Like, if you complete this quest, it gives you an extra eight of that, of. of 
the tin instead of gold because I get gold from the funnel and it seems like to me you get more gold than tin. So yeah. Uh I also completed a, a Kaiba quest. The Kiba quest. Just trying to see where it is. Also, I'm probably not gonna complete every quest in this mod pack. I'm just gonna complete as, many, uh, complete as many as I can, and once I basically get through the line of quest, because uh, there's still there's still like four, three or four to go. Yeah, so there's these four. So you have Steam Age, uh, Power, Magic, and then end game stuff. So, but uh, the Kaiba quest was like to make the some Kaiba stuff, so like the Void Bucket, a uh, Fluid Hopper, a few other stuff. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show off where it was here. Yeah, let me find it off camera and I'll be right back in a sec. It was right underneath my nose, my nose here, it was, it's this question right here. Um, explore the, the, explore the, the Kaiba mod, Kiba, Kiba baby mod. So it's after the animation, your tower, uh, your mob tower. Uh, I don't know why you would do that, but whatever. And so, uh, fluid hopper, I'll forward them on your own. That's basically a crucible, an iron crucible, and then five more iron. So, the void buggy, which just deletes items, a magnet, which I have, or did I have on me. Um, so, that's an interesting quest. Uh, that also, this is going to be the last segment of the video here, but yeah, so this is the Kaiba quest, this is where you get the nice gliders, the, uh, sleeping bags, and the different block breakers, block breakers and other stuff, so, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, I will see you guys next time.